Hey, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got uh, kind of a quick tip uh, for you guys on Bet Fury. I'm pretty sure this works in stake.us as well. So um, I'll kind of get to the point here, but the, the, whole, the whole premise around this is to help you kind of retain uh, some of the money that, that you've gained, um, you know, while on auto with some of these. Um, so I'm gonna move this over here real fast and I'll kind of explain. So I actually had a running, uh, running on auto. Okay. So this is on, this is on BNB. Uh, th this was my base. Um, this actually works out pretty well for me. I, I feel comfortable with this. Um, this is my base, my target. This is limbo by the way. Um, and I have a stop loss and I, this was actually at 0 0.003 um, here a little bit ago. I, I have it increasing by 100%. And here's here's the thing. So this, this goes really, really well until until right about here. So this is seven, this is one, three, six, seven losses. Actually, it's six losses in a row. So what I've learned is some of us kind of may have the intention to kind of 2x this and then hit start and it's still on auto <laughs> it's still on auto man this has caught me so many times and i i i've caught myself many times after but i, I still make the mistake from time to time when it stops when, when you get a series like this where, where you get stopped out stop lost um take your hands off the keyboard and assess the actual screen assess what is on the screen before anything, before you do anything, okay? Before you even think about touching the mouse, all right? Because the moment you hit start, it's going to it's going to trade, and then it's going to trade again if, if that bet is below your stop loss. And I guarantee you, more than likely, it probably is. Because normally we, we hit those stop losses because, um, you know, it, it, it's the running bet. It's the accumulative of, of the bet, which is where, where we get this drawdown. Um, so it's not necessarily the size of the bet at the current time. It's the accumulation of, of those bets that, that hits the stop loss. So what, what, what I'm kind of getting to is when you hit start, if it's still on auto, it'll bet. And then it'll if it loses, it'll bet again. Or it'll bet you'll hit that win. So you'll shoot back up, but it'll try and force the next trade which may be a loss and it'll double so you end up slingshotting up and then slingshotting back down so my recommendation is to take your hands off the keyboard assess the situation hit manual right so flip over to manual and then do as you wish you know whether you're going to just you know just keep the same signs and then go um, or if you're going to double or if you're going to half down and then kind of work your way back up. Um, but to just kind of tip there uh, on that. But here, here's one thing that I've been doing to kind of help save my gains. Um, because this dip right here happened right here as well. Um, this is, is this right here. And I, what I just told you is exactly what I did. Um, it lost, I doubled it, and then it won. So uh, the stop loss was actually here on number six. It was actually here on number six. Uh, I doubled it, hit it, I lost, and then uh, I doubled it again, and then it shut it up on this. So, but I, I left it on manual so I didn't have to worry about it continuing, and then I could adjust back down to my base. Now, what I've been doing is 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 this right here. So this was actually at three, and about every. I think about 0 .00, so 0 .0005, I've been stopping this, resetting my base down to here, and then starting it again. So what that does is that resets your stop loss. It doesn't restart your graph. You can restart the graph if you want. Um, but I actually, I actually kind of want to keep the graph and just, when you stop it, 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 rest, it resets everything for you. So your stop loss resets um, at, at this point. So at, you know, six, nine, zero, you know, one, two, nine. So the most I could lose. So if I was to, so if I was to get stopped out again, um, you know, I, I would have, 
No, it, it would come down to 0 0.004. Okay, that, that, that's kind of my point. Uh, you, don't, you don't have to worry about, you know, a big massive drawdown that, that could potentially, you know, give back all of your stuff. Because I, I think normally what happens is, you know, you, you get, you know, say to point zero 0.01 and what normally happens is this, uh, that, that accumulation runs up again and then you know you just end up giving all of the all of that back again so um I, I i just thought i would i would tell you to do that um every once in a while just find a find a good point hit stop adjust your base adjust your stop loss accordingly and then hit start again um the worst thing that can happen is you hit your stop loss and you just have to readjust flip it over to manual and readjust okay um just I mean, maybe that's maybe that's a pro tip for friday um you can do that with just about I, I, well you can do it with any game so do your own due diligence try it out um but other than that guys that's all i got for you today uh i'll leave it there stay safe stay healthy stay decentralized i'll see you guys in the next one Later.